because she has that telepathic horse whisperer kind of rapport with horses that has allowed her to communicate with them on a, a more telepathic, sensory level. And she's having wonderful success in that way, and as the, the, these horses become healed from what they went through, that to her is very rewarding and healing too. Because ultimately out of what she and I experienced, healing for us all is an ultimate joy. The kind of thinking that, that I have now, the freedom of thought, is something that I cherish. And it's something that everyone should experience and enjoy to the fullest rather than be following the medias that are telling them what to fear and what to do. It's also the kind of free thinking that allows folks like you to come to a place like this and, and learn more and, it, and expand your own knowledge base rather than caving into what so much of society has been told that those of us who think free who do want to learn more and aren't fitting into, into the mainstream social engineering aspect of society are oh, conspir cons conspiratists and, you know, just all kinds of terms they like to put on us to make us um, feel like we're not normal. Of course we're not normal. We're way better than the ability to think free and to think for ourselves. Please Thank each and every one of you for coming out tonight, and we hope to see as many of you as, as possible that can come to the workshop because it's going to be interactive. And in that workshop, you're going to you're going to go home with some details that are really here for unimaginable. The, the details that you're going to learn are things about what's going on around you. And, and once you have eyes to see and ears to hear, you can have a profound impact on those of you. Who, everybody knows 165 people in their life. And, and if, if you infect as many as three people in your um, circle of friends and, and loved ones with this information, from, from a position of comparative analysis. In other words, they can see this, they can see that within their own, I mean, even the news, they'll quickly understand what we're talking about is the worst scourge upon mankind, and that's mind control. We want each and every one of you to have the same level of knowledge that Kathy and I do. We, of course, are accustomed to teaching psychiatrists and psychologists and social workers and, and police and border guards. But we also have found that working with them, it's a very rigid type of thing. Whereas working with the general population, particularly in foreign countries, uh, in workshop, it has been the greatest reward that Kathy and I have ever had because we get to interact with everybody and, and practically everyone in the workshop has a positive contribution just through their questions. I had, had a young man ask me a question outside just a moment ago, which was, it's extraordinarily important that I hope somebody asks in, in this workshop. So the workshop is Sunday, and it's, it's at 10 a.m., and we'll go to 3 or later. Um, but we have to limit it to 50 people, and we are going to speak again tomorrow night. So those of you that can attend the workshop, we strongly urge you to do so. And again, we deeply appreciate each and every one of you coming out. And we appreciate those of you who did the best you could to encourage others to come out. We thank you from the bottoms of our heart. Good night.